everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to make these beaded wrap bracelets like this. And they're kind of like inspired by like the Chan Lu ones. And this is one that I made that's like a longer one. Just kind of looks like this. And this wraps around I think like three times on my wrist. And then this one is the one that I actually showed in the video because I wanted to do one that was just shorter just because it doesn't take as long. So I just did this one which goes around once. And then it has like the little button right there. So the things you'll need are a clipboard, some clips, like these kind, some cord, and you can use like real leather or not real leather. Um, I'm not really sure what this is, but it's just like this kind of black cord. And you're going to need a button for the clasp, and the, this is like just the kind that I used. And you also need some needles to thread the thread through. And these ones are collapsible eye needles. They're ones that kind of like bend, which I think work a lot better. Um, this is the one that I was using. It's all like bent, but <laughs> yeah. And you also need beads, and you need thread, which you can probably just use um, normal thread, but I use the bead weaving and stringing thread because it's stronger, so it's just like that. And you also need scissors, and you might need super glue. It doesn't, I mean, you probably don't really need to super glue it, but if you want, you could just put super glue on the, like, knots to make sure it stays. Measure the string. I don't really usually measure it like a certain way, I kind of just estimate. So what I usually do is like I'll just take the string and just wrap it around my wrist how many times like I'd want the bracelet to be. And then what you want to do is then say it's like that's how much you wrapped it around. Then you want it doubled so then you just fold it like that because you have to have string on each side of the beads. And then you might want to add some extra length to it just because you're going to be tying like a knot here and then at the end and stuff. So you pretty much just kind of like estimate that. And then for the thread, you're going to need a lot more of the thread than like the actual cord. So I usually just, I don't even know, I usually just take a whole bunch and like, even though it's kind of wasting it, but I mean I usually just estimate it. I hope that I'm explaining it okay. It's kind of hard to explain and also the string when you're doing this bracelet it's going to be getting caught on like the corners of a table, corner of the clipboard yeah it's going to get caught on everything <laughs> it was actually getting caught on the tripod which was <laughs> really frustrating so if you want to know how to do this bracelet then just keep watching so first what you want to do is take your piece of string and fold it in half you want to make a knot at the top like make a loop and you want to make sure that it will fit the button that you're going to use. But you don't want the loop to be too big. So after you have the loop, what I like to do is take a cotton round or like something so that it won't indent as badly on the string. And then you just want to put it underneath the clipboard. And then what you want to do is just take some clips, like these, and clip down each end to the clipboard. Next, what you want to do is take your needle and your thread and just thread it through the needle. And then you want to fold the thread in half so that this is the needle is in the very I center. The thread like fold in half, it's going to be a lot stronger So since it's doubled up. Okay, so after you threaded your needle, what you want to do is tie this thread to either both of the strings or just one of them. And I'm just going to do it this time on one of the strings. So I'm just going to take the needle and just go underneath the left string, like that, and just pull it through. So then I'm just going to tie a knot. And what you want to do is go like this, and then, you know, just normal knot. That, and then you pull the string through.
and then I like to do a double knot so then I just go and do another knot. After you knotted the thread to the string, what you want to do is just make some figure eights around the string to make it stay on there even better. So you want to take the needle and go underneath the right string. that and then pull and then make sure it's like pushed up towards the top then you want to go underneath the left string and pull it through And make sure it's really tight. And then I'm going to do it again. So you take the needle and go underneath the right string and pull. And tighten this. I'm going to go, and you can do this as many times as you want, and then I'm going to go underneath the left side and pull it through. Now I'm going to go around the right string, so you just go underneath so that it's through the center, and then pull it tight. And then I'm going to go back through underneath the left side. So you just go like this, bring it through the center. And pull it through. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is tie another knot around this left string just to make sure this holds. So I'm just going to go like that, underneath the left string, then just put it through the loop, and just tie it. So now I'm going to, we're going to start adding the beads. So what you want to do is just, you know, put it onto the thread through the needle. and just let it drop and it's usually pretty difficult to get this started just because it's so tight up towards the top and if you have smaller beads it wouldn't be as hard so what you want to do is just kind of place it, you don't want it up there too tight just because then it's going to get out of place so you want to take your needle and go underneath the right string and up through the center like that and then just pull the string through and make sure the bead stays in the middle <laughs> so like that then you want to take the needle and go back through the bead. And just pull the <coughs> and just pull the string through. Then what you want to do is take the needle and go underneath the left string and up through the center and pull it through and then just kind of pull it a little bit you don't want this too tight though but it needs to be tight enough and then you can just add the next bead. I'm going to show you how to add the bead again just to make sure that you understand so what you want to do is when the string is through the middle like this, 
like between the two strings. You want to just add the bead to the needle and thread it on. And just let it drop in the center between the two strings. And then what you want to do is take the needle and go underneath the right string and up through the center like between the two strings. And then pull it a little bit. Whoops, sorry, the string is just going crazy. Okay. Then what you want to do is take the needle and go back through the bead. And you want the needle to be above the left string. So on top of the left string. And you just want to pull it through. And then you want to take the needle and go underneath the left string. Like, and then up through the center between them. And pull it through. And then pull it tight. Then what you do is then you just add the next bead and you just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Once you get to as long as how you want the bracelet to be, what you want to do is take the string and or take the needle and wrap it around the left string. So like just go underneath and up through the center of the strings. Whoops, it got stuck on something. So just like that, and then just pull what it. What you want to do is just tie a knot. So you just want to take the needle and go underneath this, like that. And then put the needle through the loop. And then you can just tie another knot to make sure it stays. what you want to do is take the clips off from the bottom and then take all the strings together and make a knot. want it to be too close to the bead up there because then it will like make it all like weird so you know just make it have a little bit of room like that and then you have to pull it tight then what you want to do is take the button and just thread one of the strings through it and then you want to take the other side and tie it. So like this. And you can do another knot if you want to make sure it really stays. You want to just cut the extra thread off. So this is how it looks when it's done. And if you want you can super glue up by the knot and the knot on the bottom too just to make sure it stays. And so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Bye.